brothers and sisters. This is Chuck of Chuck's Off the Grid World. What we're going to talk about today is an idiot mixed my lithium batteries with lead acid batteries. What are the results after two months? Well, we're going to talk about that a little bit. I'm going to use a, my results is going to have a, a little information narrative, okay? Lead acid batteries were invented in 1859 by a French scientist. That's 165 years. 165 years, that's a long time. They've been around forever and they've been working ever since. Where the lithium ion batteries was invented in 1976, Exxon oil scientist invented them. In 2014, that expensive battery company, you know the you know the ones that they charge a thousand dollars for a hundred hundred amp hour battery. They brought them on the market in 2014, so they hadn't been on the market for very long. The first narrative you want to talk about lead acid. Uh, we had a Thanksgiving dinner just a couple years ago, maybe one or two years, and during the time of preparing the dinner my refrigerator went bad so I had to replace it. I went to a box store and they bought a new refrigerator they delivered it on Thanksgiving Day but they wouldn't bring it into the house they, they brought it to the front porch well in order to get it in the house there's we have the the people in our in our family that are big and heavy duty you know you know the muscular strong guys you know they're sitting on, on the couch watching football drinking beer eating chips and so I asked them to help me bring the tea, the refrigerator into the kitchen well they grunt uh, went out looked at it picked it up just grabbed it like bear hugged it and brought it in and set it down in the kitchen afterwards they were tired <laughs> <laughs> went back to the couch and drank beer and watched football. The next narrative is for lithium ion batteries. You, you know, in your family members, the, the nerdy ones, the ones that are texting each other and they're in the same room, they're always on Facebook or Marketplace or uh, just Tic Tac, just um, YouTube. They're just always on the internet, always on their phone. Well, the same situation I asked them to bring the refrigerator in well they kind of scratched their heads for a moment went to Google and got it planned Google told me the refrigerator hand truck in a dolly and so they grabbed onto it took it into the kitchen set it down and they weren't even tired so they went ahead because they did it the easy way they went ahead and restocked the refrigerator got it all working and such and then Afterwards, they became whiny, a little emotional. They was, I've had too much sugar, I'm too hot, I'm too cold. They just had an emotional shutdown. <laughs> lead acid is good for the big heavy jobs that you need to, but the lithium batteries is long lasting. So I think mixing the two together, it has some real advantage. It said you can only chart, you can only use your lead acid battery down to 50%, which is, I believe, is 12.2 volts. Well, lithium battery companies they've been advertising that you can run them from 100% down to zero, and but when I look at my owner's manual from the battery I bought, lithium battery, that's not what it says. It says that the BMS will shut the battery down at 10 point volts 10 volts so I, I don't know what helped me to under are they not just telling you the truth trying to sell you a thousand dollar battery I, I don't know but this is the battery owner's manual I'll show you inside the owner's manual where it says that can you read can you read that perhaps not I don't know but uh, it's just I find it interesting that they're claiming that you know you can use the batteries down to zero percent state of charge and the owner's manual says that's not true is it just this battery company or is it all lithium battery companies I don't know help me to understand in conclusion I believe that the lead acid is 
get all the strength and the lithium has long lasting. I, I found that uh, when I first hooked the lithium battery to my system, in the mornings I'd be sitting about 12.2 volts. Hook the lithium batteries to it, and then all of a sudden it jumps up to 12.9, 13 volts, somewhere in that vicinity. So, it, it what it's done is actually increased the voltage on my lead acid battery, and so to me that's a that's a plus. Other people say that the lead acid will pull the lithium batteries down, and so but I look at it the other way around. I think they pulled the lead acid batteries up, so. Uh, I, I don't have anything, I haven't changed anything on my 600 watts on top of the roof. Uh, the only thing that I believe I need to do, I need to add some more wattage, some more solar panels to my roof because it's taken longer time to charge my batteries. I don't know if, if the lithium batteries are charging slower than lead acid or just the fact that I've added more, more, uh, amperage to it probably both uh, but uh, I think you mixing it is just fine it hasn't killed me yet people have said that it'll kill me or I'll die or I'll catch fire or blow up whatever you know it's just craziness going on with this lithium batteries are on the way out anyway the Tesla's are going to have a new uh, aluminum battery of some sort uh, that's new technology so well thank you for